Well, slap my unprofane lips. I'm a sailplane pilot. I've never cussed a swear in my life. And I fly a 1983 Schleicher ASK-21. And I only talk to other soarers. Yes, I'm a sailplane pilot. Not a glider pilot. Not a glider pilot. Those nose downing sky rocks. I've been flying low, I've been letting it slide. If you like your wounded my pride, when you say that I just glide. This is a sailplane. It's not a glider. It also doesn't have an engine. You know that. See, the second a glider releases from a tow plane, that aircraft is coming down. The descent has begun. A sailplane, like this, can stay up longer. A sailplane can regain altitude by circling in thermals, you know, rising columns of warm air. They're able to do this because sailplanes are lighter with longer wings and sleeker bodies. The Schleicher ASK-21 has a glide ratio of 34 to 1. That means for every one foot this plane descends, in level flight, it will travel 35 feet forward. So that means if you're at a thousand feet, you can go 6.4 miles before you hit the Earth. Compare that to a traditional powered craft like a Cessna 172, which if you shut the engine off, it will glide, but it has a glide ratio of 9 to 1, so it'll only travel 9 feet forward for every 1 foot it descends. But going back up is the sport of sky sailing. This is where sailplane pilots sit around a picnic table in the shade, one-upping each other. Well, I got 800 feet over that plowed field. Fat. Yeah, well, the Costco Fat. parking lot Fat. got me another 1,000 feet. Fat. Yeah, well, I Fat. got 200 Fat. just from hitting Fat. the hospital's Fat. AC Fat. unit. Oh, but Fat. I stayed in a thermal Fat. after a tow to 5,000 and Fat. went up to 7,000. Fly a sailplane, they said. It will be relaxing and quiet and fun, they said. Bull. You know what it's like to fly in a sailplane? Go hike up to the pinnacle, point two dust-off cans at your ears, and just pull the trigger. That's what it's like. And it's hot! This bubble canopy is a Tupperware tube focusing the sun into lasers that burn me and the back seat. The Schleicher ASK-21 has a maximum or never exceeds speed of 174 miles an hour and a stall speed of 35 miles an hour. Its chassis is mostly fiberglass and so is the skin and all of the control surfaces. On top of the fiberglass is a gel resin coating for weatherproofing. It has five wheels, three inline along the body, and two roller blade wheels, one on each wingtip. You ever go on an alpine slide? The seating position is similar. Ever ride a recumbent bicycle? The seating position is similar. Ever do a Susquehanna boxcar? The position is similar, but you're in control. Oh, air vent, you are my best friend. I'm concentrating on your noisy breeze and trying to ignore my mounting nausea. The ASK-21 is sleek and slippery looking, but it flies like a Penske straight truck. This is partly because of its dimensions. It has a wingspan of 55.74 feet. The craft is 47.4 feet long, 5 feet high, with a total wing area of 192.96 square feet. Its max all-up weight is 1,320 pounds, and the maximum wing load is 6.84 pounds per square foot. Its optimum glide speed, however, is only 59 miles an hour. So it takes big, slow, wide turns. Lots of control input for not a lot of vehicle movement. But I found it way more forgiving and easier to fly than that Cherokee we flew a few years ago. See this red string taped to the outside of the canopy? That's my drift meter. It tells you how far left and right you're yawing wrong, or if the wind is blowing you off course. Well, what you're supposed to do is to keep that red string straight up and down, even in turns. If the string veers off to the left or right, it means you're turning sloppy and you need to counter with the rudder. This string is the sky version of a cup of water in an AE-86. Only this is real. With a sailplane or a glider, you only get one shot at landing. No do-overs. No. Well, folks, we're being instructed by the tower to go once more around the pattern. It'll be about 20 minutes. Nope, no engine.
and there is no amount of thermals to get you back up again. When you come in for landing, it's do or die time. Coming in to land a sailplane is like trying to coast a car home when you run out of gas at the last second. So you come in for a landing a little bit faster than you think you have to, and then you yank hard on the air brakes, which are cheese graters that pop out of the top of the wings. Now what, that, what they do is they mangle the airflow, spoil the lift, and cause drag. And that makes the sailplane drop. And you aim for the grass because that's somehow safer. But the AS-21 has no suspension, and the grass strips paralleling runways aren't known for being golf greens. So the glider lands and goes <laughs> like a single-speed classic huffy being ridden through a field. Did I like it? Yeah, it was fun to fly. I mean, next time I fly anything for regular car reviews, I'm taking a double dose of Dramamine, and someone else can drive me home while I... Huh? Hey. So thank you to our pilot, Aaron J. Rogers, and thank you to the staff and pilots of Wordsboro Airport in New York for allowing me to film. This was a hell of a day. I'm not just when I'm in the sky. I'm not just when I'm in the sky. I don't wanna fly today. I don't wanna fly. I'm not just when I'm in the sky. I get nauseous when I'm in the sky. I would rather drive. <laughs> 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 You almost made it. YouTube content. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pop your canopy. Get some air in here. We're gonna need it. You might just have captured the first POV up truck on YouTube. Oh. Switch back to my cool clean shirt. Hey. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> oh, there we go. Better. Much better. <laughs>